Hey, what's up guys? It's Ben. This is the second part of the two-part video series. Last time you saw kind of everything that I picked up throughout the week at the thrift stores and garage sales in kind of a montage fashion, and now I'm going to go through the haul part of the video. So I'm going to go through and show you guys all the different pieces that I picked up, and hopefully it adds some bolos to your list for your own thrifting adventures, and hopefully, you know, it helps you make some money in the future. Um, but without further ado, we got a ton of items to get into, so let's get right into it. Here we go. Okay, so I'm not going to do this in any specific order or anything. I'm just going to start grabbing stuff from the pile and kind of showing you guys. It's going to be a mixture of hard goods and clothing, so I'm not doing any specific order or anything, but I am going to start off with one really cool item. It's probably the most expensive item I picked up this week, and it's this Spalding Cy Williams baseball bat. As you can see, it's a wooden baseball bat. It's very old, and if I'm right on this, I'm pretty sure it dates to the 1910s and 1920s, um, in that era at least, and from what I can tell there weren't very many comps for this exact bat, but other ones were going in the range of the like $500 mark, so I'm hoping this one being in decent condition, it's got some scuffs and scrapes and you know it's beat up on the end and stuff, but I'm hoping I can get over 500 bucks on this guy because that would be a home run. Next we're getting into clothing and I'm going to start out with a good one. This right here is a quilted jacket and as you can probably tell from this this uh, interior right here, it is a Burberry. I ended up finding this at the end of the week and Burberry, if you don't know Burberry, it's a high-end expensive designer brand and you should always pick up the stuff if you can find it cheap. But this one is legit, it has like the Burberry tag down there, it's got the inner Burberry tag, it says Made in London on the top and I picked it up for seven dollars and fifty cents and I think this is like between a seventy five and a hundred dollar jacket um, I didn't look it up I'm just taking a guess on that it could be worth more it could be worth a little less but I'm thinking that's probably the range that this one's gonna fall in next we have this foot joy reversible jacket on the inside it's got the fleece that can be reversed the outside in green and on the back it's this tan as you can see right there, FJ, the Foot Joy logo. I've sold this exact jacket before, and this will go between 35 and 40 bucks. I've actually sold this jacket a few times. Here we have a pair of jeans. I've talked about these before. They're diesel industry, and these uh, this style is the Zathan jean, and these are like 40 bucks. Then we have a second pair of diesel jeans. Pick these up at the same store. These are the Viker ones. Again, 35 to 40 bucks and I ended up paying $7.50 a piece minus my military discount of 10%. Alright, next we got a pair of shoes, women's shoes. These are Peter Miller shoes. You can see right there on the inside they say limited edition. They are 111 of 300 made and they're like a snakeskin flat. Um, I paid five bucks for them. They're in, they're in pretty rough shape honestly but I figured Peter Miller's a good brand and they're limited edition so I picked them up for five bucks and I'm hoping to get a decent profit out of them just because they are limited edition. I'm not really sure on the value, I have to comp them out, but for five bucks, I took the chance because why not? So this pickup you probably saw in the montage, this was actually a really cool pickup. It's a Campagnello cycling jersey, as you can see down there on the bottom, it has the three pockets for your bars and stuff when you're riding. But this is a really nice 80 style jacket, and it's full zip, long sleeve. I paid $7.50 minus my discount for it, and I think I'm going to end up getting over 50 bucks on it. Uh, these jerseys that are vintage Campanellas go between like the 50 and and $100 mark depending on the design. So I think I'm going to land like right in the middle on this one between the $75 and $80 mark on the, is where I'm hoping to be on it. But over 50 bucks for sure on this, no problem. And look out for that brand right there. All right, on to the next bag. Here we have a Saks Fifth Avenue 100% cashmere sweater. Um, this is a cardigan long sleeve. I typically don't pick up Saks Fifth Avenue stuff. The stuff they sell in the store is, you know, brand name stuff worth a lot. But their stuff, their branded stuff, usually isn't worth it. But it is sweater weather season and 100% cashmere stuff sells very well. This is going to be a bread and butter item throughout this uh, winter. So if you aren't picking up cashmere stuff, you should probably start, usually you can expect over 20 bucks a piece on them. I think this one being Saks Fifth Avenue will be more around the $25 mark, but when you're paying, what did I pay on this guy? $3.50? I mean, you can't really complain. 
Another one, this is a J. Crew 100% cashmere. Again, I don't pick up J. Crew stuff super often, but if it's cashmere and we're getting ready, ready to go into sweater weather season, I am going to snag that up all day. Just be careful with the um, cashmere stuff. You got to really pay attention to see if it has holes or if it has um, stains on it because cashmere stuff tends to rip really easy. So just be careful and make sure you're checking for pinholes on cashmere stuff. All right, so these are actually really looked over in the thrift stores. This is a Monster Energy brand hoodie. Um, you can see it's branded Monster Energy. Um, you don't want to get the ones that are like a, an off-brand with just the Monster Energy logo printed on it. You want to find the act stuff that's actually licensed and from their line because this stuff will go between 25 and 30 bucks for a hoodie like this. So I ended up picking this up for five bucks, and it should sell between 25 and 30 bucks. Also, here's a tip for you guys when you guys are picking up winter clothing. Yes, you'll see that most of the comps are at a higher price, but you need to be careful because you're also going to be paying more with the shipping and stuff when you're picking up stuff. So make sure stuff's worth it, worth it at the end of the day when you're picking up winter items. You got to kind of know your your range and if it's going to be over 16 ounces or not because you're not going to be shipping a lot of that first class. Next we have Sonic. You can see uh, from a few weeks ago I did sell Sonic the Hedgehog plush for like 80 bucks. This is not the same one but it's still licensed Sonic the Hedgehog. Picked it up for a buck. I expect them to go anywhere between 10 and 20 bucks. I haven't looked this exact one up yet but paying a buck for it, I mean, I'm going to take the chance on it because it's a plush and it's Sonic. So. All right, this is a pretty cool piece. It's a starter Ohio State windbreaker, um, rain jacket, whatever you want to call it. It has the Ohio State printed on the back right there, and it has the starter bling, so it's a vintage one. Real nice condition, and no rips or anything like that, so I don't know the value of this. I'm going to say conservatively like 30 bucks on this guy, but Ohio State has a pretty big following, so it might be a little more than that. Okay, I was really excited to find this one in the store. Um, I've never found a Hermes piece before, but I ended up finding a Hermes Paris scarf. Super big spell out in the middle. It's got the crest, of the uh, what is it called, family crest on there, and it's in it's in okay condition. It's got a few little small stains and stuff. It has the Hermes down there in the bottom corner, as you can see. But Hermes, if you don't know Hermes, it has a very big following, and they have very high end stuff that sells from like ties, scarves, all the, any. Anything you can think of, really. Um, they, it's just a good brand to look out for. This thing is huge. Uh, I didn't realize that their scarves were going to be this big, but it's silk, and it should sell relatively well. I'm thinking at least at least 75 bucks on this guy. I think I can get a little more if the stains come out. Um, some of the scarves, though, go between like 150 to $200. The only reason I'm putting this one at Solo is because it does have the stains and stuff on it. And if I can't get them out, then it's going to hurt the value. Okay, so this one I didn't buy because of the name brand. What is it? It's Tournament by Arrow. It's not a very good name brand, but the style's cool for a tennis. Whoever's playing tennis and looking for their vintage style, this is going to give it to them. I think I can get at least 20 bucks out of this guy. And I bought this on half price day, paid $2.50 for it. So I think I can get 20 bucks out of that guy pretty easy. And that's one of the ones that, like I said, I bought just because of the style. Here's another pretty common item for me to pick up. This is a Vineyard Vines Chepanian um, shirt. Nothing too special, just a, your basic button front long sleeve shirt. Um, these will go between 20 and 25 bucks. Really, really easy. All right, next up we just have a t-shirt. As you can see right there on the front, it says Stussy on the tag right there. It's a printed one. So this t-shirt is your basic essential collection. It should sell really fast, and I think I can get like 20 bucks out of it. Paid $3.29 for it. And another bread and butter item, Vineyard Vines polo shirt. Um, it should be around 20 bucks, no problem. This was a half, I remember this one being on half off day, and I paid $2.50 for it. Next up, we have this vintage dinosaurs from the Dinosaurs TV show figure. Um, I forget what his name was. Was it Jake? No, Robbie. Robbie. His name was Robbie. Um, picked him up for a buck. I don't know what he's worth or anything. I figured for a buck, I'll throw him in my bag. And I think maybe like 10 bucks or so, nothing too special. Um, I haven't looked him up, maybe I'm wrong, but you know, it's just a really cool pickup, something to put on the shelf. I think he's going to stay on my shelf. I have a little line of vintage figures up there, so I'll throw him up on my shelf. This was from St. Vincent de Paul. It's a marmot rain jacket. Um, these are really, really easy to find. I find them a few times per season. 
Um, and you can tell right there, there's the name, Marmot. It's good hiking brand to look for. This is one of the precip ones, and this will sell all day at 30 bucks, um, maybe even 40 since it's in really good condition, and it's a good size, so I paid $2 for it at the St. Vincent de Paul. Okay, and the last thing in this bag, pair of Eileen Fisher leggings. Eileen Fisher is a good woman's brand to look out for. Um, she has a bunch of silk clothing that does really well. This one is rayon and lycra. Um, still, it'll sell well. Over 20 bucks for sure. I didn't even look them up. Paid four bucks for them. And I think their leggings actually sell a little bit more. So probably in the 25 to 30 dollar range on these. Um, not 100 percent sure. Didn't look them up, but I'd say. All right. And the last thing that I got from Salvation Army, four bucks pair of Lululemon leggings. You can see the the logo right there. These are the flare bottoms, so I guess they're more pants than leggings, but I'll throw them up there at like 30 bucks, take anything over 25 on them. Here we have a the North Face Jester backpack. It is brand new. Um, it doesn't have the tags on it. She said she tried it on. It was just too small for her, but you can tell it's been never been used, and this will go anywhere between 40 and 50 bucks, but I might end up keeping this one for a day pack for myself because why not? I need a new day pack, and I found one. So... Alright, I mentioned this brand in my last video, cool, pick up anything you see that's cool. Um, it's a, this is a sweater, it's a wool sweater, this will go around 30 to 35 bucks, very easy, and I paid $7.50, half price day on this one. This is just a basic Masters hat, um, I've brought up Masters, Masters stuff before, this one's actually American Needle, it's not like the Masters brand itself. So this hat will go anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks. If you ever see that logo, just look for stuff with it. I've sold all kinds of things with the Masters logo on it, from hats to shirts to shoes to anything. Some golf clubs are worth like thousands of dollars if they're the limited edition Masters stuff. So keep an eye out for that logo. Sticking with that theme, another Masters item. This is a polo shirt. You can see it's kind of got like that plaid checkered pattern. Nothing too special there. This will be between 50 or. Uh, between twenty and twenty five dollars on this polo paid five bucks for it this is just a basic north face one fourth zip jacket um, it's like a outer layer that you can wear when you're hiking it's not a base layer or anything but size small should sell for anywhere between twenty and twenty five bucks pretty dang fast since we're getting into the fall season and people are going to be looking to get their long sleeve hiking gear in but this is a vintage NFL Pro Line Cliff Angle sweater. Um, I didn't see a ton of these up there, but the ones that were up there, they were of other teams, and they were selling in like the $40 to $50 range, so I'm going to toss this one up there. Um, Bangle stuff typically doesn't sell super well for me, however, with this being that high of a profit margin on there, I'm going to take the shot and see what happens. Um, hopefully, that one ends up pan panning out. Ended up paying 5 bucks for that one, and we will see on that guy. Alright, these were a pretty cool pickup. Like I've told you guys before, I'm not super huge into like the sneaker stuff or the sneakerhead um, genre of things, but I can typically tell when shoes are worth something. And these definitely have a worth something look to them. I'm sure you guys can agree. Um, these are the Jeremy Scott Adidas Instinct High Whites. Um, and they looked like they were going between 100 and 200 bucks, depending on the condition. So I'm definitely, this is a pair of shoes that I will definitely clean up to get the value out of. I typically don't clean a bunch of the shoes, I just buy them in the shape that they're in. Hopefully they're in good shape when I buy them, and then list them as is, but when you can get some decent money out of cleaning them, I definitely take the time to do it, and this will be one of the uh, pairs that I clean up before I list. But this was a fantastic pickup, paid 15 bucks for them, and like I said, between 100 and 200 bucks. This is just a basic Patagonia men's button front short sleeve shirt. Nothing too special there. It's a size XL, so it's a good size, and this will go anywhere in the $20 to $25 range. All right, this was an interesting pickup. So this is a True Religion brand button front shirt, but when you flip it on the back, you see it says right there, League of 56ers, which I've never heard of before, so I'm assuming that's something special. It's got a pearl snap front, no stains or anything, which is nice on a white shirt because you'll always find stains on a white shirt. But True Religion's like one of those okay brands, depends on the style when it comes to like their jeans and stuff. But I don't come across shirts that often, so this was a pleasant surprise. I don't know the value of this one off the top of my head. I would guess probably around the $30 mark. 
um, but I paid five bucks for it and I'm gonna say 30 bucks on it might be a little more because of that I'm not a hundred percent sure but I'd say 30 bucks is a pretty good guess here we have a North Face fleece I was really happy to find this because it was only two bucks and at the Salvation Army this is from they typically mark their stuff up that is North Face up to like the $15 range so this was a nice pleasant surprise there nothing special about it just a basic black fleece it does have a little bit of a fuzzball issue but I'll lint roll that all out no big deal and this will sell 20 bucks relatively quickly probably a week or so on the site and I guess this one will sell Here's the last thing for those bags this is another Lululemon these are inside out right now but bought them for five bucks and like I say on all Lululemon stuff I'll probably list them for 30 and take any offer over 25 on them because it's a super easy sale and these will sell within the week. Alright, so this is another toy I picked up at the same store as that dinosaur figure. Um, it's Toothless from How to Tra Train Your Dragons. This is one of the newer ones. You can see the blue stripe. He's the alpha dragon in this one. Um, and I actually might hold off on listing this for, for you know a month or so because the new movie is getting ready to drop and I expect the stuff to be selling super hot once that movie does drop. Um, but even right now, this toy is going for around 40 bucks. It's like 23 inches long. So at, I think I paid like four bucks for this guy. Yeah, four bucks for this guy. And he's selling for 40. So might hold off on listing him, see if the price goes up by like another 10 bucks or something when the movie comes out. But we will see either way, great pickup. So this right here was a awesome pickup. I was really excited about this one. I paid 15 bucks for this. And what it is, is a Sala construction harness. Um, so for you guys who don't know, I used to be a zipline instructor from like my junior year in high school all the way up through uh, college, and I'm very familiar with harnesses, and I can typically tell good ones from the bad ones, but if you ever see this brand right there, Sala, here's what it looks like better, Sala, and this one is a Exofit, which is one of their better brands, um, XP, so this is probably a $100 to $150 harness, bought it for 15 bucks, but you can tell it's a construction harness in particular for when you're looking for them because the attachment point right here is on the back of the harness. It'll be like right here by your shoulder blades um, when you put it on. And that's what makes it a construction harness because it's a back clip and not a front clip. If it's a front clip, it's most likely a, a, a climbing harness of some kind or pedaling a rescue harness. But this is a awesome pickup. Paid 15, should get between 100 and 150 for it. Excellent deal and the harness is in very good shape because I looked it over and it looks, I mean, looks like it was barely used. This is a pretty cool find. Um, I paid six bucks for it, and right there from the front, you can tell it's like a military-ish style jacket, but on the back it has the big 21 Pilots um, patch right there. 21 Pilots is a band, if you guys didn't know. But this was a uh, blocked t or a blocked jacket that they released for one of their tours. I looked it up in the store while I was there, and um, what was really cool about this is there was like two other resellers in the store and I know for a fact one of the other resellers went down the aisle that this was in because I was right behind them as I was going through stuff. Not right behind them but like at the end of the aisle when they were coming out of it. But they passed right over this and this right here is like a hundred dollar jacket. Um, I found comps on it that were right around the hundred dollar mark so for six bucks I will take that all day. This is a Pendleton 100% wool sweater. Um, you can see right there I paid two ninety nine dollars for it. And this is a good pickup. Pendleton, anything wool will sell very well. Anything from like their sweaters to their vests to like blankets. Blankets are worth big money. Um, but Pendleton wool sweater, this one should sell in the $30 to $35 range. All right, all this next stuff was picked up at Goodwill on 20% off day here in Cincinnati on Wednesdays, 20% off at certain Goodwill stores throughout the uh, area. But this one is a North Face Summit Series jacket. You can see right there, Summit Series. I've talked about these before, and this one is a very nice one, actually. Um, I'm going to have to look up the model on this to see how much it's yeah, how much it's going for, but I would say probably anywhere between 40 and then on the higher end, like 70 bucks. But this is a high-end high, high end jacket. Summit Series stuff is going to be the higher end of North Face in general, so... I'm really happy with this pickup. Ended up paying $6.99 on it, minus the 20% off. So, good score there. Again, at the same store as that North Face stuff. This is a Patagonia um, vest, new with tags. You can see right there the retail was $150 on this. It does have a embroidered RX bar 
right there. And typically, if something's embroidered on a uh, like Patagonia or North Face thing, it's going to bring the value down. However, RX bars like a hiking um, nutrition bar brands that works really closely with hiking companies. And you know, if you're into hiking, you know what R RX bar is. But I don't think it's going to hurt the value all that much. Um, but this is a men's nano puff jacket. I forget what I comped this out at, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say it was over sixty bucks. Um, I think it was more like seventy five to eighty, honestly. But I forget off the top of my head what it comped out at. It is a two XL, so it's a large, it's a pretty large uh, vest. But still, at eight bucks, can't complain. Pick that up all day. Look out for your Patagonia and your hiking brands. I can't stress that enough. Hiking brands are money. Here's another North Face jacket, again the same store, and this one was actually another one of the like medium end brand or uh, medium end series of the North Face line. This is the Apex series. Um, so this is a woman's jacket. It's a waterproof jacket and it has kind of like this neoprene um, surface on it or outer shell on it. And this one will go around thirty to thirty-five bucks. So this will probably be a bolo for a lot of you guys. I bet you a lot of you guys haven't seen this brand. But it's a Tamrec. Um, this is a photographer's vest. Um, I pick these up relatively often. I typically pick up like one or two a year. Um, but this one I picked up for five bucks. And this is like a $30 to $35 vest. And Tamrec, is, like I said, it's a photographer brand. And they do also do like pants, shorts. Um, I think I've done like a hat maybe. But vests tend to sell pretty well. And yeah, it's a brand to look out for. If, you, if you're not familiar with it, there's the tag. Put that on your Bolo brands. It's not one that you'll find super often, but it's one to keep an eye out for if you do find it. All right, basic North Face hoodie. Nothing too special about this one. Paid five bucks for it, hit 20% off. Should get 20 to 25 bucks out of that all day. All right, here's one that I come across pretty often and I don't see other people picking up. Um, I don't know if that's just due to my area or what, but this is an Apple Employees um, one fourth zip long sleeve. Nothing too crazy about it, but I know Apple stuff sells all the time and sells very well, so I looked this up when I first found it, and I sell them for 30 bucks all day, relatively quickly too, like within a week or two, they, they typically sell, and I've probably picked up this exact like red and everything jacket like, I don't know, five, six times in the last year, so look out for Apple stuff. I don't know if it's just due to my area that I find them a lot, but they sell well if you do find them. All right, so here we have a Polo Ralph Lauren flannel. Um, this is just a basic snap button flannel, but this is actually one of the better ones to find because it is an actual um, flannel material. It's not like the uh, the faux flannels where it's just like the pattern printed on like a basic cotton uh, button shirt, but this is an actual flannel material and these actually go for around 45 bucks. All right, here we have a really cool Tommy Hilfiger color block long sleeve polo shirt. Um, this is a really neat one to find. It's a you know it's a it's a good one for collectors. They like the color blocking. It's long sleeve. We're getting ready to move into fall, so this will sell really fast once I put it up. Um, you can see right there it's the block logo, but it's got the line logo down there, and this will go up for like twenty five, maybe twenty seven bucks or something like that. Um, and so I expect it to sell pretty soon after it's listed. Um, here, this is another cool piece. Um, I don't know why I've been finding it so often, like the last couple weeks, but typically I don't find it as often as I've been this year, but can't complain one bit. Paid five bucks for it, and this will go for 30 to 35 bucks. Okay, here we have a board game. It's HeroScape. It's in used condition, but this is one of the ones that sells well if it's complete. I took a quick look through it in the uh, store. It looked, like, it looked like everything was there. I took a chance on it for five bucks, um, and... I'm going to have to go through it and piece it out and everything and make sure everything's there. If not, I'll sell it in parts and still make more than my money back. But Heroescape is a pretty fast seller, and there's a bunch of different expansions and stuff for this game. So keep an eye out for it if you can find it. This is a pretty cool piece. This is a Cincinnati Cyclones hockey jersey. Um, nothing too special about this, and it's not like the greatest team in the world, but it's still like a $30 to $35 piece and should sell pretty well. I might list this one locally and see if it sells um, just because it is Cincinnati Cyclones and we're getting ready to hit into uh, hockey season soon so I'm probably going to list list that on like Facebook Marketplace and see if I can sell it that way so I don't have to pay the eBay fees and stuff but if not it'll still sell on eBay no problem. Um, paid five bucks for it. 
Alright, so this is probably one of my favorite pickups, not because of it's like valuable or anything, but just because of the overall style. Um, this is a Bolt Windbreaker jacket, and, and it's just super cool colorway. That black and like this fluorescent pinkish color, there's the back right there. Um, didn't have a ton of value, I looked them up, they were like going between like 25 and 30 bucks, um, which is pretty standard, but this is just like a really cool Windbreaker jacket. I like the style of it a lot. Um, I wish it was my size unfortunately it's like a smaller and like on the smaller spectrum of medium so it's a little small on me when I tried it on but still I think that'll sell really 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 well just because of the style All right, I actually pulled this one off at a uh, thrift store a local one down in uh, Lawrenceburg it's a polo Ralph Lauren Pima soft touch um, it, it looks like they bought it straight from Goodwill and they just donated it straight off and never wore it but it's a size XXL so it's a nice bigger size, and it's the Pima Soft Touch. Pima Soft Touches go for around 20 bucks. Um, you might sit on it a little bit just because the market is super flooded right now. However, it's still something that if you can pick it up for like a buck or two, you might as well do it because it will sell eventually. So again, back to the cashmere stuff. This is just a cable knit long sleeve um, sweater. It's a turtleneck, and this is just a Land's End one. No pinholes, no nothing. This will go for 20 to 25 bucks. This is a Canon calculator. It's one of the ones that you put the one of the rolls of paper in and it prints out. But the model number is P23-DH space V. Um, this will actually be one in the Amazon. This is ranked 12 in electronics in Amazon, so great sales rank. This will fly off the shelf right when I send it in. And as you can see right here, it's selling for $27. And after all our fees and stuff, I'll make $14 on it. And I don't sell a ton of used stuff on Amazon, but when I do, a lot of them are calculators and stuff like this, or video games, or stuff that's pretty easy to ship in and, you know, not have to worry about the functionality all too much because it's really easy to test. This is a pair of Page Huxton Ultra Skinny Jeans. Right there is the style. Um, and these go for around 30 bucks. Page is a good brand to look for. Um, some of their stuff is worth picking up and some of their stuff is not. It all just depends on that style. So the ultra skinnies like this will sell well, but ones like the uh, Kylie Crop and stuff, they, they tend to sell slower and at a lower end at like 20 bucks. So when I'm picking jeans up at like $7.50, I'm not going to pick up jeans that are grossing me 20 bucks um, because the profit's just not worth my time at that point. This is a Lacoste button front shirt. This is actually a really ugly shirt. But Lacoste stuff sells well and it sells fast, so this button front shirt will be around 20 bucks. This is a Bonobos button front long sleeve shirt. Um, this one's like a canvas material, and this should go for about 25 bucks. Paid five bucks, half price. We have a pair of Brooks Ghost 11 women's running shoes, and these they had on for 10 bucks, half price, gone for five. And they look like they're going between 40 and 50 bucks for this uh, for this colorway. So good pick up there. I, at at uh, a state sale, I picked up this glove. I think this one was from like a week and a half ago. Um, this was like a midweek estate sale or something like that. But this is like an older glove. I think this is like 1930s or 40s because it's split finger. Um, I'm not. A, I'll have to do research on it. It doesn't have like a big brand or anything on it, but paid five bucks for it. So we'll see what I end up getting out of that one. It's all going to depend on the dating and everything. But figure for five bucks, I can't really get wrong. Here's a brand that's probably going to be a a uh, new one for you guys. This is Sandband of Iceland. I actually just shipped out one of these sweaters like a week or two ago. Um, I sat on it for a while. I don't sell them super often, but at thirty to thirty-five bucks, I'll sit on it for you know a month or two until it sells. And yeah. Sandband of Iceland, another sweater brand to add to your stuff as we move into the winter season. This is going to end up being the last item that I talk about for the day. This one was actually in the trunk of my car and I forgot about it, but this was from like two weeks ago. But it's a Marantz cassette and CD player. Um, this was at like the second day of her garage sale. She had 25 bucks on it, but I ended up offering her 10 bucks for it. Marantz is a great thing to look out for. Um, I didn't even look up the model number when I bought it. And this one looks like it ends up going around the $100 mark. But some of them are worth way, way more. I think the most expensive Marantz that I've ever sold was like a $750 one. So I figured for $10, bucks, um, i have not tested it yet, but for $10, bucks, if it works, awesome. If not, I'll still sell it for parts. And yeah, 
Morant's just a good brand to look out for when you're looking for vintage uh, tape decks and cassette players and stuff like that. So that's going to end up wrapping up the video for now, guys. Hopefully you guys learned something and put some bolos out there for you guys to uh, find yourselves when you're out there sourcing. This was like a week's worth of sourcing for me, and I went out almost every day this past week because all the winter stuff was coming out, and I wanted to stock up for quarter four. So I know it was a lot to take in. If you guys like these longer style videos, let me know down in the comments. Or if you'd prefer to see shorter videos around like 10 minutes in length instead of these like 20 minute videos, I'd like to know the kind of content you guys would like me to create. Um, or if you'd like to see anything specific, please let me know in the comments as well. Either way, thanks for coming out and watching. Thanks for the support as always. And until next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.